Alright guys, if you want the chance to win one of these Japanese soldiers, all you have to do is comment down below, leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll be picking a winner, and I'll be giving one of these away in next week's episode. Alright guys, welcome back to Hacksaw Ridge and LEGO. Today, we're going to be working on adding more minifigures to the mock, setting up the rest of the Americans, and then also we have a bunch, we have 120 Japanese figures that we'll be adding helmets, weapons, and heads to, and then we'll start populating the Japanese side of the mock. So... Get ready, sit down, and get ready for an awesome video. All right, before we work on the minifigures, I cleared off the old minifigures we had back here. We had some yellow skin tone minifigures, and I'm finishing off all of the detailing on these rocks back here. I'm adding bamboo, I'm adding grass pieces, I'm adding all sorts of little details, like the little olive green plants that I got a couple episodes back, and we're just cleaning this up. I'm adding more of these little bushes back there, and I was looking for more of those because I really like that piece. I think this piece is just an awesome piece. And luckily, I found a bunch of them. So I'm going to add these to the mock as well. And we're just going to keep adding greenery back here, making this more dense. And uh, might even add some more back in here because there are some blank spots back there. And then we'll go to the minifigures. So let me keep working on this and I'll get some figures. All right, guys. I just printed 120 heads for the Japanese figures. There's three different heads. These will be sold probably at some point on my website. So let me zoom in and show you guys. So we've got... This one here, which is like a bloody and muddy face here. We've got this one. This is probably my favorite. It's a bunch of mud on his face. I really like that one. And that reminds me a lot of the ones, or at least some of the scenes from the film Hacksaw Ridge. I remember seeing the Japanese just covered in mud. And then the last one is just kind of a generic yelling face. So we've got 120 light flesh heads. And then we've got, I believe there should be 20, 20, and then 40. Maybe there's only 80. Anyways, I put in more heads than I did bodies, but uh, we're going to go ahead, add those to there, and then also I've got the helmets right here, and then also I added all the heads to the rest of the Americans I have. So I have all the Americans with heads and helmets, and then we can also take these and put them on the mock. So I'm going to go ahead, sit down, assemble all of these, and we can start putting them onto the mock back here. All right, we've got the Japanese army for Hacksaw Ridge completely built here. We've got what is it? I think 80 figures here. So this will be plenty for the Japanese side of the mock. We've got, I believe there's what, three or four different versions of torsos. And then we've got three different versions of heads. So there's a lot to go on. So now obviously I have to add weapons to these guys. I have to add them to the mock and pose them. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys this cool shot. I think it looks really cool with them all laid out here. So that's going to be all the Japanese figures that will be on the mock. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting them on, and it's going to turn into a really awesome battle very quickly. Just checked my P.O. box, and I got, let's see, how many of these did I get? I got five of these ladders. I got some 1x6s in reddish brown, and then I also got these stretchers or gurneys, whatever you want to call them. So we can have Desmond Doss lowering down injured people on those so i think that would be cool and then we could have a bunch of them down here and people tending to them you know with medic helmets and whatnot so that's what those are for and then what these ladders are for are going to be right here so these guys can get up to the start of their net and that actually works perfectly so we're gonna lean a couple of those up there maybe put a couple crates flipped over like people are jumping on those so i think that's gonna look really good and uh i'm excited so let's keep on working and then i do have to print those japanese heads later today i'll get those done but right now what i'm doing is i'm just adding a bunch more greenery on here like i was telling you guys but uh i had to take a break and go check my peel box and i'm glad i did all right, guys, so between me taking as many of these Americans and then these Japanese that I finished assembling and putting them on the mock, this is what we're starting to get at. Now, it doesn't come across on camera, but this mock is really turning out great so far. Just me adding these figures is adding so much life to the mock and so much more depth and height to the mock. It's turning out really good. I don't want to show you too much, but once again, obviously, we're not that close to being done still. We've still got all of these figures. We've still got probably 70 of these figures. Well, maybe maybe 65 of these figures left. I haven't really put too many Japanese on yet. And what I'm doing right now is I'm doing kind of a bulk of the, just kind of the staging of these figures. I'm putting as many of them down as I can. And then what we've got to do is we've got to come in. We've got to start adding dead men 
and we've got to add the blood and all the gore. So like this guy here, that's like the only dead guy on the battlefield right now. So obviously that will need to change. I don't want to go too much into the detail of like what the Americans are doing, how they're moving and all that. That's going to be for the finale, but I can show you guys what I'm working on so far. I did finish staging up all of the guys down here and any leftover figures, I think I'm going to put down here because I do wish we had something else going on down here, but I just don't really have anything else to put down here. So whatever figures won't end up on here, it's either going to be two things. One, it's they're going to be dead up here, unfortunately, or they're going to be down here with probably like the Sherman tank or whatnot. Now, I'm not done yet, but I'm just talking out loud here. And then also we've got a little staging area that this one medic guy you can see his helmet there is helping out these wounded guys once again this is just all concept i'm not done yet one thing i will be doing is having desmond doss lowering figures down right here down to here and i'll probably have one suspended so that'll be really cool i just wanted to have a couple down there and i might put one up here but i'll definitely have a little crane looking thing um, with a rope going down there so that'll be perfect um i've got two ladders set up so I think that's looking really good, getting some figures up top there onto the net. And uh, yeah, it's going really well so far. I'm really excited with it. I definitely filled this out back here a lot more with between the olive green and then these grass pieces. And then I added some grass and bamboo pieces to the sides of these rocks to kind of break up the dark bluish gray. I think it looks really good. I'm really excited with how this is turning out. And honestly, I know for like the longest period of time we had no idea what we were going to put up here, but I'm really glad we settled for something simple like this because it actually flows into the battle really nicely. I think you guys can agree with that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but just this transition seems pretty effortless. You know, less trees up here and then it goes into dense trees. I really like it and uh, I'm really excited with how it's turning out. So let me know what you guys think of this area so far. I'm gonna go ahead and keep adding figures, keep adding details. I've still got quite a bit. What I've been kind of doing is I will grab, let's say like four or five figures, and I'll take them over here, and then I'll just put them down. And I'll go back and forth and do that. And it just kind of helps to break it up, and um, just gives me like a handful of figures, and I have to get rid of them before I grab more. So it's a nice little system. And it is pretty crazy to put down a handful of figures, take a break, walk away, and do something else. And then I come back to the mock, and you realize how much it's taking shape. So really exciting stuff, and uh, I can't wait to finish it off for you guys, but I'm going to keep working on it right now. All right, I've started to add a lot more wounded soldiers here and there. So I'm not, once again, I'm not going to give you too much detail, but we definitely are adding, you know, these videos leading up to the finale are just going to be like, you know, pan shots, nothing too up close. The finale video will be me going through every single figure like I have in my past videos of finales and just kind of showing you what's going on and my interpretation of why I did what I did. And then there'll be a second finale video which will just be like a video montage. So there'll be two finales. The first one will be the in-depth longer video those are normally like a half hour so those are normally pretty cool and then back here i've been starting to add even more japanese figures and whatnot so we've got a lot going on back here we've got one of the guys on the stretcher there so really cool it's definitely taking place so i'm gonna go ahead and cut to the giveaway winners and let's go ahead and pick a winner from last week's episode all right guys we got last week's episode loaded up here so we had 647 likes and only 227 comments. So guys, if you like the video, drop a comment and make sure you're subscribed and you'll have a chance to win some free stuff. So that's all I'm saying. Let's go ahead and pick a winner from last week's episode here. This one did really well. We got almost 10,000 views in a week. So thank you guys for everyone that watched this. Let's go ahead and pick CJ Bricks. You are the winner. Love your videos and your mocks. That's a great comment there. Super straightforward and simple. So CJ, all, or not CJ, CG, all you have to do is shoot me a message through my website, bricktactical.com, with your address, your name, and a screenshot of you logged in, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll get that prize out to you. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Building Hacksaw Ridge and Lego. It is definitely taking place. The amount of minifigures is insane, and we still got plenty left to add, so I'm really excited. Things are looking great. Let me know what you guys think, how things are turning out in your opinion in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys want me to add more things that I haven't talked about. You know, we will be adding Desmond Doss lowering figures down right here. 
we will be adding a lot more wounded and dead soldiers. I know it is not the prettiest picture to see these little Lego minifigures bleeding out, but it is realistic, and I do try to make these as realistic as possible, and especially from the movie, there was a lot of gruesome moments, so I'm not going to fully replicate that, but we definitely are going to add little dead guys like that. So it's just one of those things that we have to do. And if we take a look at my video schedule here, so this is... Let's see, episode 42, that's this episode. Next week, we're gonna be adding more rubble, blood, and final details. Then we'll have the last call video, which will be me just like asking if you guys want me to add anything else and kind of a final call there. So that'll be, let's see. And then the finale, I'm just thinking in my head, Brick Fair, Virginia is going to be, I think, this weekend. So this video might be pushed a week out. It might not be, but we'll... We'll kind of play that by ear because these next two weeks, I'm going to be very busy prepping for Virginia. So we'll just have to play it by ear and then we'll be doing that second finale and then we'll be doing a series of me taking apart the mock. So I'm really excited to do that. I always love doing those. I normally just do three episodes of that. It's just kind of cool to see me build the mock and then take it down and kind of reverse the process, if you will. So that's going to do it, guys. And once again, these figures, I did see some comments in my last video. These figures will be on my website once the mock videos are completely over, once the finale is completely done. But you can get pretty much all of these parts on my website right now, bricktactical.com. You can get all the helmets. I sell the helmets. I sell the weapons. I sell heads, torsos, and then I also sell some complete figures. So we'll get even more as time progresses. But a lot of this stuff is on the website right now, and that's the best way to support me, guys. Buy some custom Lego minifigures from my website. I do all the injection molding and all the printing downstairs in my garage, so it's all done by me, and I would appreciate the support. Like I said, let me know what you guys think of the mock so far. I'm really stoked with how it's turning out, and uh, I will see you guys in next week's video where we're going to be taking all these minifigures and adding even more, and it's going to be even better. So. Can't wait to see you guys there. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Yeah, I'm working 18s, everybody knows me. Good luck keeping up, I'm doing me. Doing so much, my friends never see me. Now I'm living my life, yeah, it's all me. Never change up, yeah, this is really me. I'm not sorry if you don't like what you see. Can't change now, this is who I be, yeah. Can't change now, this is who I be, yeah. All the work that I fronted never harmed me Skipping social events all through my teens Just to go back home